All right, for our final um, recipe we're gonna share with you guys today is a Instapot um, goulash. And we're not gonna demonstrate the whole recipe. Um, the really cool thing about our Instapot is we can do this as like a one pot meal, which is really nice, especially in college when maybe doing dishes isn't at the highest priority or even at my house on the weeknights, it's nice to have just that one pot um, ready to go and goulash on the stove um, is going to take you know by the time you brown your hamburger you add everything in it simmers you add your macaroni it simmers some more um, this way we're going to turn our instapot to saute and we are just going to brown our hamburger just like we would on the stove but we're just going to use our instapot the one really important thing to remember is after we do this, we're gonna, when we add our liquid, um, we're gonna start with like in the goulash recipe, um, you start by adding a one cup of beef broth. And with a wooden spoon um, or your good, you know, nice kind of heavier duty, it's not super bendy rubber, spoon um, that I like to cook with in, you need to deglaze the bottom of your pot. So what that means is just, we're gonna have a, those little bits of baked on um, hamburger, um, whatever it may be when we use the saute fashion or function, we just need to make sure we clean all of those off the bottom of the, the pan so they don't, um, of the inner pot, so that they don't um, burn when we turn it onto the Insta, the pressure cooking function and add all of the liquid. So while that does its thing, I'm just gonna grab my goulash recipe. And this is one we really like. Um, we made a big pot of it and really enjoyed it for a couple days. So we're gonna break it all up, get it cooked, um, deglaze the pan, then we're gonna add in our water tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, Worcestershire, bay leaves, rest of the seasonings, give it a good stir, pour in the elbow macaroni, put the lid on, and it is going to pressure cook for one minute. Um, so by the, those noodles are cooking as it's, you know, coming to pressure, that one minute we're going to cook, re quick release it. Um, for this, anytime you're using the noodles, um, that are cooked like that, that we're not trying to stir cheese into. We definitely want to turn the keep warm function off and pull our um, inner pot out so that we stop those noodles from cooking because we don't want them overcooked. So as you guys can see, this cooks um, just like it would on the stove. We're getting a nice brown. Um, so we'll show you that and then we'll finish cooking it and then we're done with the Instapot. So Instapot is a lot like the other things that we've shown you, especially um, like the chili recipes. There's some trial and error. There's some learning what your tastes are. There's learning what your favorite recipes are. There's altitude. altitude I have learned is a really interesting factor to the Instapot. So at Laramie's altitude of 7,200, I would definitely add um, a couple minutes, especially as you start learning. Use your food thermometer because that obviously is the only way you're gonna know for sure food is cooked to the proper internal temperatures. And just be brave and try things out. Um, that is probably one of my favorite pieces about it is it's encouraged us to try some new recipes that maybe we wouldn't have otherwise or on weeknights when it's like, man, it's going to take, you know, forever for that to cook. Um, goulash in, you know, 15 minutes start to finish is pretty awesome. Um, so if you have an Instapot, we hope you'll um, share some recipes of what you've tried. If you don't have an Instapot, give us some ideas of what recipes sound good. Um, do a little research on what 
model you want to get before you purchase one. The new cool thing is, is instead of having to have a separate air fryer, they now make air fryer lids that go on the Instapots, which is really nice because it's one less appliance that you have to have in your home. And if you have a kitchen the size of mine, storage space becomes at a premium, so to not have to store an entire another um, appliance would be a really cool feature. And know your sizes of what you're getting and kind of what, you know, if it's just you and um, the smaller one is would work great. They do, there's a three quart, a six quart, an eight quart, and a 10 quart. So it, this is a six quart. So a 10 quart is gonna be a huge. Um, so if you're cooking for a large crowd um, all the time that may be, or doing tons of meal prep, so you're gonna cook, you know, six pounds of chicken and then meal prep it from there. So buy the one that fits your needs and happy cooking. So we'll show you the cooked hamburger. I mean, it looks just like I did it browned it on the stove um, so you could easily have taco meat you could turn this into the goulash you could do whatever you're going to do with browned hamburger um, and just have the one pot so with that I think we'll go ahead and sign off from here in Nyborough County hopefully you've learned um, some tips and tricks for your instapot and some new recipes <laughs>